as you know, we are um, using the Godiva here. Um, it's easy, so I'm not going to show you how to add another class here. And so I'm actually adding another class. So here is the question um, we want to use the array for. Um, question one, say, if I give you a name, and I want you to find out how many one characters, for example, T is in the name, right? OK, so um, I create a class called the array strings. Again, I change just the class to public. And this is the main method here. Now, from now on, we uh, really want to uh, using uh, the uh, static method to do this. So I will say public static. Um, and I want to return how many. So that means my return will be a number, a whole number. So that's why here my return is an integer. Okay. Um, and then I will give a name for the method. Um, so I'll call this method count characters, right? And count characters is will return me how many characters in the uh, one string. And so here, obviously, I'm gonna need you to give me a string of to say s, okay? So the input. The parameter or arguments is here, me a string. So the string can be um, a sentence, can be a name. Um, this string can be um, any anything um, that consists of the letters. Okay. So how are we gonna do that? Now it's very interesting to know the string, it's actually a character array. Okay, it's actually character array. And so let's just start with integer count, start from zero, right? And we'll return the total count. We'll return the total count. So initially it's a zero. And then somehow we will write the code to figure out, oh, and also we need to have a character and see. You know, this is the character we want to find out how many this character showed up in the string, right? Um, so initially we assume it's a zero, and then we're going through, we're going through um, the whole string, and then we'll start counting. Okay. So as I said, say um, the string. So one thing is um, string is actually. Uh, a character array. Okay? It's actually a character array. So how we travel through an array? We're using the for loop, isn't it? So we'll say for integer i start from zero and i is less than towards the end. So how can we figure out the length of the array? That's simple. We'll say s dot length. Now here, because s it's a it's a string, so we do need a parenthesis after it, and then we'll say i plus plus, and this is looping over the whole string. So this is um, loop over the um, string as a character character array. Okay, so you can see this um, pattern here, how we travel through the array. And that's the example that we showed last week is we travel through an array, right? Okay, so now the next thing we want to do the comparison. So we'll use the if statement. We'll say if the s dot character at this location, Okay, so this is the i, um, the character at this location, because the string, they start from zero, 
and um, they actually uh, have the index here too. So we want to find out what's the character at this index. It's just like the ith element of the array. So we'll check to see if this is the same as the character. All right. If it is the same, then we'll just increase the count. Okay. And this is just that simple. So how are we going to use it? And we go back to the main and let's just have a string. Okay. And um, and then we'll say a string name equal to to say um, Claire 10. Um, well, um, right now the character we'll see. Okay. Um, and so we can um, print out, we'll say system dot out dot print oops, system dot out dot print nine. And so we'll call this count character and we pass the name and we we'll pass the character T. And it's supposed to print out one, isn't it? Right? Because um well let's let's do that one. Let's just say eight. So it was supposed to have a two count here, right? Okay. Um print uh what was run system out oh print run spell um print nine so it's supposed to tell me print out two okay now notice several things here this is a character this is a character so therefore if i say this is a character it has to be double uh, no single quote okay so it's a single quote remember here it's a single quote for character okay and we passing the name name as the string as here um and we passing the a as the character here and it's supposed to give us two so let's see if that's the case and you can see i got two out here yes So this is one question, right? And we say, okay, if I give you a string, and the string again is actually a character array. So we can process one character in the string at a time. So we'll say character C, character L, character A, character R, and character blank here or space. Okay, so every single one here is a character. And they basically put it into an array, okay? So this is actually an array here, right? So actually kind of like the array C here. So that's the first element. And then L, okay, the second element, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like an array, all right? So this is the one examples about uh, last week you guys also asked me how we handle um, the uh, characters and here we go so it's an array now the next example we can talk about is well, i give you an array of names and can you find out uh, the longest name among all those um, names okay and so let's create another um, method we'll call public static um, the longest one so the longest one here um, we will probably um, tell that um, the index Okay, so we'll say we'll return to here again because we want to say at what index the longest name will uh, will be. Okay, um, so this is uh, public static. We'll return integer. We'll say longest. Actually, we'll say in general and longest to string. Okay, 
And so here we actually have a list of strings. Okay, so we'll say a list. So we have not just one name, we have quite a few names. Here we go. And that's it. Okay, so you give me a list of the names. And so we'll have an integer, and let's just call this longest. Initially, it's a zero, right? And again, we'll return this number at the end. We'll figure out what this is, and then we'll return that. So how are we going to loop over the list, which is the, the um, array here? Again, we'll do the for loop, right? We'll say integer i equals zero. And i is less than list dot length. Now you see I'm using length here instead of length parentheses. The reason is because the list here is array. Okay, it's an array, but here the s is one string. So if s <clears throat> is a string, then we have to have a parenthesis to figure out the length of the string to figure out how many characters in the string. But if the list is an array, then we just use without parentheses. Okay, so this is sometimes confusion. So pay attention to here. And then we'll have an I plus plus. Okay. And how are we gonna figure out the longest? Okay, so we'll have if statement and we'll say if list is less than list i. List i here represent the i name in the list, right? So then this is a string. So list i is actually a string. Then we'll find out what's the length here. Okay, so this is tell us what's the length. So here the whole thing is tell us the length of this particular string, the i string in the list. Okay, so if this is the case, then we will update the longest. Update the longest. Oops, what did I do wrong? Okay. Um, I did, I want to copy, so obviously the list. So I want to copy this one. As I say, I use in copy and paste a lot. So I copy here, and then I'll just say assign this one to that. Okay, so I update. So if the longest is less than, strictly less than the length of the list, and then I will update the longest to this one. That's it. Okay, so again, you, I'll see how we loop over. So you can see this pretty much happening again and again and again, how we travel through um, each element of the loop to find out what's the longest, how we travel through each of the array, you know, element to find out um, the characters. Okay, so now let's go back to the main, how we're going to test it. So we'll have a string. And this time we'll have a name equal to new. Um, okay, equal to new. Um, well, I won't just say new. So I will initialize some of the string here. Initialize it. So and I'll have Claire ten here, right? Um, and I have the um match. Here. And who else is in online? Spell your name. Um, B E Timberley. How you spell your name? B E S S. Timothy. All right. Um, and I have um, um, I can go back on your name. Sorry. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Um, blessing. Yeah, and I have the Harris. Okay, see if I can copy this. Um, just say whose the name is the longest. Right. Um, so I'm going back to my code here. 
and um, way I paste it. Okay, and um, did I spell the name runs? Um, I spell your name wrong. B L E. Okay, I'm gonna copy this one. And go back to this one here. Um, all right. Um, so I create a string. Um, why they don't like it? Do I need to say new? Okay. Inigo initialization. Um, all right, I probably need to say new string and um, I need to say string. Give a number of, um, oh, that's interesting. I thought I can just go ahead and do that. All right. Um, I can just do this one. So how many we have here? One, two, three, four. So I'll just say four for the moment. Okay. So this is fine. Um, and I can do so. This is pretty bad way of doing it. Oh, I have a double this one here. That's interesting. Um, so I can say names zero equal to um, cut this one here where I'm going. Okay, so this is a pretty dummy way of doing it. And let's just do that for the moment. Um, and then I will have and name. So in this way, it's probably better. You kind of know um, where this goes. And so this is the second one. And I'm doing the names um, three. And I will sign to that. Okay. And names three equal to this. Um, why they still don't like it? Interesting. Oh, oh, I was wondering. Okay, my mistake. What did I missing here? I'm missing the whole thing here. It's an array. And that's why they don't like it. Okay, so I can do this way, but I pretty sure I can do the other way. So let me try to do the other way, okay? Same thing, so this is the same thing. Um, if I'm doing the other way that I did before, because I made the mistake of missing the, um, the square bracket to indicate this is an array, okay? So that's my mistake. But then if I go in back to this one here, uh, and I will show you two different ways here. We always learn from our mistakes. So don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? And that's how we learn. And that's why we say, okay, we, um, we can do that one here. I didn't realize why I'm missing that one. So this is my intent to do at the beginning. And this works too, okay? See here, if I can copy, if I make this um, a copy here, so I unco unco I'm, I'm not copy, I comment this out, right? And I want to just use this, and that should work. Why is it not working? String, array, and names. What do I missing here? Oh, now it's better. It's a comma, it's comma, it's comma, it's there's no comma for the last one. Okay, and so 
this one works. And this is the way we can create an array of strings. Okay, we can create an array of strings. And this is equivalent to be like that one. They will initialize array as four, and then they will send the first one to the index zero, and second one to index one, and third one to index two, and fourth one to index three. Okay, so this is equivalent, just like that. And, and so we want to find out whose name is the longest one, right? And then we'll say system out dot print line. Okay, and so, and we will print, and we will say um, the longest index is okay so we'll print out what's the longest index and so we can call longest string we pass names into it it's supposed to see which index we have here okay so now let's run And they say the longest is index, it's 16. Isn't that weird? How could that be? Oh, because I have the length. Okay, I see. The longest, Tim, is actually 16. Okay, not index. The longest, not index. The longest length is 16 okay so so maybe the the uh, the blessing here is the longest one i'm sure okay um we could so we could change the code here if we want the index if we want the index and then we will change here to save the i okay and then we can say the longest index is this okay um and um, then if we run again it is supposed to pointing to number two here i believe 